Good morning, folks. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. Other than those in Fall City, Texas, you've been a rockin' and a rollin'. In the last month, there's been over 30 earthquakes, and they're growing in intensity. Uh, we got two earthquakes of a magnitude uh, 4.7 and a 4.4. When you have uh, earthquakes of a magnitude 4 or greater, that's when you're going to start seeing damage. USGS said the 4.7 was an intensity level of 6. It was 4.2 miles in depth, and then there was, before that, a magnitude 4.4, 5.2 miles in depth. They gave that an intensity level of 5. Intensity level 6 means it was felt by many. Many people were frightened and ran outdoors. Falling plaster and chimney damage would be light. Intensity level 5, same thing, felt by many people. There would be some breakage, dishes, windows, plaster, disturbance of tall object. Uh, what kind of damage did you have? These were all man-made earthquakes caused by the injection of disposal of wastewater um, or possibly sand, things like that. But it's caused by the injection of the uh, byproducts of the oil and gas companies. Here is the felt reports for the magnitude 4.7 sent into USGS. Looks like the farthest was probably uh, Round Rock and then coming down south. Uh, what do we got here? Um, Beeville, Three Rivers, um, Hobson, intensity level 5 was reported there. Gillett, intensity level 5. Um, they should be shutting down the injection of uh, the disposal of um, the byproducts. Yeah, what kind of damage did you have? Going to Google Earth, here's the location of that 4.7. We got, what, a home over here? Yeah. Poor people. Sorry to say that the oil and gas industry has never been held accountable for damages done. You can see across this whole area. I tried to mark out um, the majority of the earthquakes that have occurred. Over here is, oh, right there. There's the 4.4. Okay. 30 earthquakes within the last month. If I just go in closer to this location here for Fall City, there's been 26 within the last month. Uh, more recently, there was a magnitude 3.3. That was 5.2 miles in depth. Intensity level also of 5. 13 people said they felt that one. Now, according to regulations for the wastewater disposal, when they start having earthquakes, they're either supposed to shut down completely for a temporary amount of time or slow the injection down for how fast they're pumping it into the ground. Here on USGS, yeah, they actually got some of the oil fields labeled. Um, Blink oil field, Penson oil field. And it looks like the area where most of them are happening um, is Hobson oil field. And then we also got um, Haysaw oil field. And there's more. Koi City gas field. Um, Fashing Edward gas field, etc. The moment tensor ball for the magnitude 4.7 first wave of the earthquake came from straight up, or down below, I should say. Yeah, it's because they're injecting. Tension was applied going uh, north, slightly a little bit northwest. So you can expect more earthquakes in that direction. Magnitude 4.4 was basically the same thing. Yeah, the injection uh, raised the ground up, and tension, more earthquakes will probably be expected going uh, north, slightly northwest. No one sent in reports to EMSC that they felt these earthquakes. Um, I would like to know how long did it last? 
What did the motion feel like? Um, what kind of damage did you have? Um, are you prepared for larger earthquakes? Yeah, they are possible. Please put that information down below. Um, please share this video. Maybe we can get some more information from others in the area. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.